All right, everyone, let's get this party started. We shall defeat the Grand Market Madness event today. Mr. Azuma decided to show up without any invitation. Every time Azuma comes to town, he brings with him a few symptoms such as rage, the ability to curse like never before, and many more. Azuma the Felsher is also known as the Shadow Master of the Market Madness event. In the last fight, he remains in constant shadow form and can destroy you within seconds. There was this one time when I was fighting Azuma and things went sideways. Right at the beginning of the match, he immediately hit me with the Naginata Dash. Then he followed up with the Porcupine of the Needles and finished it off with eruption from the helmet like a sexy beast. The match was over before I could press a single button. Now comment down in the comment section if anything like this has happened to you before. Azuma the Felsher has the potential to destroy you without clicking any button. Today I decided to unleash the Star Chaser from the Dynasty faction. Our main goal is to poison Azuma the Felsher and return all the damage back to him. We shall be using the Star Chaser poison trick. Now this trick has a simple strategy. You equip all the poison perks from the Dynasty faction. You let the enemy hit you so you can return the damage back to the enemy. You can use the spark from the Dynasty faction to buy you more time in the zombie mode of the Star Chaser. This is a very good technique to defeat bosses who can deal heavy damage back to you. With this technique, you can return all the damage back to the enemy by using the poison perks. This technique is awesome if your poison perks are at very high levels. I personally, I have my poisons at level 15 and level 16. The helmet is level 15 and the armor is level 16. They have a high chance to get activated. The match might be a little difficult for you if you don't have a high power poison. Some of you may be asking why my poison is at such a high level. Let me explain to you. I personally, I like the Dynasty faction. I like the Dynasty faction because it is a unique faction with the ability to counter both the Legion and the Herald faction. I made a video explaining why I believe Dynasty was the best faction in this game. As you know, everybody has their preference when they choose a faction. Some people say Legion is the best, some say Herald is the best, some say Dynasty is the best. In my opinion, Dynasty is the best. In your opinion, I don't know which one. So back to the question why my poison is at a high level. Every single day I change my faction rewards. I don't remain in one faction for more than two or three days. I have a high chance of getting good perks from the store. You can get a lot of good perks if you change your faction rewards every now and then. Usually, within a few weeks, you can focus on upgrading your Dynasty perks, then change it to Herald, then change it back to Legion. If you do that back and forth, the store is going to be offering you a lot of good perks. Since we are using the Star Chaser set, I'm going to give you simple reasons why I believe Dynasty is one of the greatest factions in this game. Now, I know you have your own opinion on which faction you think is the best and I respect that. In my opinion, Dynasty is better. Let us discuss some of the reasons why Dynasty is at the top. There are so many perks in Dynasty faction that can be used for different reasons. The perks in Dynasty faction can give you the option to fight with Plan A, Plan B, Plan C. Now, in Dynasty faction, Plan A is simple. You use the plug perk in your weapon so you can shock the enemy. Just imagine shocking Azuma and making him lose his Naginata. That means you have made him weak. He will never dash to hit you and all you're left with is Eruption and Porcupine, which is very easy to dodge with the Dynasty Double Leg Sweep. The poison in Dynasty Faction is also incredible you can return all the damage back to the enemy. Dynasty has a poison on the helmet, on the armor, and on the weapon. You can poison your enemy throughout the match and make them feel the pain. 
I don't even need to explain to you how the spirit perk in the dynasty faction works. We all know the effects of the spirit perk. So in dynasty you have the option to fight with different styles. If you lose your weapon you can use the spirit perk to regenerate shadow energy to destroy your enemy. The legion and the heralds also have their advantages. And some people believe herald is the best. Some believe legion is the best. I respect your decision. You know what you want, you know what is best for you. In my opinion, Dynasty rules. Okay everyone, comment down in the comment section which faction you think is the best in Shadow Fight 3. In my opinion, I choose the Dynasty as the best faction in Shadow Fight 3. What's your opinion? Is it Legion? Is it Herald? Is it Dynasty? Comment down in the comment section. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos that are coming up in the future. I am also going to be giving a lot of tips and tricks for Shadow Fight Arena when it comes out. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you guys for watching. Until then, I'm going to talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.